Welcome to episode 21 of Action RPG Game in Unity. Our open chest is blocking ray cast to pick up an object. After we open the chest and item is dropped, the chest is still blocks the ray cast. It still has the collider. So we simply need to disable the collider after opening the chest. Good. Now let's make it possible to get rid of items from our inventory. We want to make it possible to select an item and throw it away by clicking outside the inventory. Open inventory controller. Inside, open process mouse input method. We want to check if we are clicking outside the inventory UI panel. To do so, we will check if our mouse pointer is over the UI game object. If it is returning true, it means our pointer is hovering over the UI. And when we click in there, it means we're trying to like move an item or equip it or doing whatever. So we don't want to throw it away. Otherwise, call and create a new method called throw item away process. Inside, let's make some kind of debug message and test it. Good. As you can see, if I click outside the UI while inventory is opened, it will throw message into the log. Good. Return out of execution of throw item away if selected item is null. So if we have selected item and we click outside the UI elements, we will cause the item to be thrown out into the ground. So call spawn item, pass the item data. And now we need to pass the position of the player. So the item will be spawned under the player. Call null selected item to nullify the references to the selected item because we thrown away the item. And because we are doing that, we need to destroy the item object on our UI. So before null select item, call and create destroy selected item. Good. But when you pick up an item, it's picking up a wrong item. This is happening because right now we spawn a prefab of pick up item, but never said what this prefab, what this game object on the scene now represent, what kind of item it is. 
so it defaults into what we set up on the prefab. Inside item spawn manager in spawn item method, after we instantiate a new item on the ground, get the pickup interact object component and go and create a new method called set item. Inside set item, simply assign the past item data into the item data of the pickup object. Let's test this. We are moving after dropping an item. We will fix this in the next episode. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. You will get cool perks like being featured like those cool people you can see right now on the screen, or access to project files on Patreon. Good, now let's introduce a new stats to our character. Let's introduce health regeneration. To introduce new stats, you need to add them into the enum. Then in the stats group, add them in the init. Then we want to use this value to regenerate health, so in the character update, call life regeneration. Inside, we want to do a simple calculation. The more life regen we have, the faster you will be gaining your health back. So create new variable called life regen. And to it, add the time delta time multiplied by the health regeneration. So this means if you have one health regeneration, you will be regenerating one health per second. The moment the life regeneration is higher than one, we will heal ourselves by one point of health. To do this, create a new method called heal. Subtract one from life regeneration to reset the timer to regenerate health. Inside heal, call and create a new method called restore on our life pool. Inside the restore method, we will add the past value into the current value. Let's test this. If I decrease my health, my health will slowly regenerate. And if I increase health regeneration, my health will regenerate even faster. But we have an issue. Our health go over the max limit of our health. No problem. Simple in the life pool class add check so it will not go over the max value.
good. Good, this is it for this episode. Special thank you to Stormbreaker 9000 and this old Hashdu. With best regards, see you in the next episode.